stripes. We're adding ghost stripes to this dresser, and I've never done this before, so this is the first time. I'm just going to try it on the top drawer. I'm looking over here. Oh, I gotta get rid of this every time. Okay, so, and actually it's good because I thought I ran out of blue tape, but I have some, and it's thicker, which is gonna come in handy. I can move the light. Just things are, things are, <laughs> Is that better? I'll try to have the light shining on the piece so I can see well, but hang on one minute. Something's not right with it. I don't know why. It seems to, um, the tripod. Weird. I think that's better. I'll try to get the lighting a little bit better. Let's hope that's better. Okay. So, ghost stripes, what are they? I thought they were perfect for this piece because, you know, Haunted Mansion inspired. Now, what I have not done yet is pull out the drawers and touch up, which I have to do tonight. So, I'm going to be doing that after I do these stripes. But first, the stripes. So, ghost stripes. I gotta do this. I gotta think about this. Let's see. Hold on. Just an eyeballing it. I'm eyeballing it. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it or not. It's just the way I'm doing it. Um, I'm just taking some blue tape. You could take frog tape and I'm taping off I'm trying to make sure it's on there pretty straight and um, that's <laughs> not that great. Ghost stripes. We're taking satin clear coat because I'm going to refinish this piece in matte, matte poly. And we're taking satin, which is going to create the ghost stripe. So this is chalk painted. It's not sealed yet. And when we add, am I going to drip it on there? Let me think about this. I wonder if I need to take this off too, just so it doesn't drip. That's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna tape that off too, but so I'm just using the tape to kind of um, gauge how big I want my ghost stripe to be the width. Oh my goodness. This is definitely not technical. It's not a technical process. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way to make this a technical process, but you know. We're just diving in and trying something. And if I really didn't like it, I could just end up sealing the entire piece. Sorry. I could end up sealing the entire piece in um, satin. And you wouldn't even know they exist if those ghost strips are there. I need a bigger piece. So I'm using the tape to just kind of mark the distance between the stripes. And again, nothing super technical because we don't need to be if we don't want to be. And if you want to be, go for it. <laughs> um, I need a straight piece because I, um, I want it straight so I'm covering the edge so I don't get drips. It's the only reason. So this tape is like a, a placeholder. So I'm going to start the stripe here. You know? Simple. Oh, that was loud. Sorry. Oh, that's kind of cool. There's going to be a stripe right in the middle. Now, if I had thought about this, it worked out perfectly. 
I would have been redoing the tape if this wasn't centered. So I didn't even think about that and just kind of worked out. Kind of perfect. <laughs> we just lucked out. Otherwise I would have been redoing the tape. Sometimes, you know what's funny? When I've sometimes just winged something, you know what I mean? You just totally wing it. It's worked out really well. And then other times I've like been very methodical and that's when I end up redoing it. So it doesn't really make sense, but it is what it is. Okay. I think that's gonna work. I might make, I'm gonna bump this over a tiny bit, just a little bit. And make this stripe a tad bigger in the middle. Um, I'm going to make this a tiny bit bigger. Literally eyeballing this at this point because it didn't actually work out. I should have started from the center because I want it centered here. That's okay. So then all we do is take our clear coat. So I'm going to be using Dixie Bell's satin clear coat. And remember, we always stir our clear coat. We never, ever, ever shake it. Oh, I never noticed it actually has, um, it's like a ruler on one side of these stirring sticks. I never noticed that before. So I'm going to get a brush. I pretty much use or clear, do I want a brush or a sponge? No, I can't use a sponge. Hang on, let me just find a smaller brush. This is a premium chip brush. I've never used one of their premium chip brushes, but honestly, it's like the perfect size. So we're gonna try their premium chip brush, Dixie Bell's premium chip brush. Cool. This is the two inch one. I normally never dip into this, but I have some on the lid, so I'm just going to take from there. So you can't see that, that's why I'm explaining what I'm doing. I also use every drop of clear coat off the spatula, stick, wooden stick. So I'm just tapping it on. brush would be better, honestly. Um, it would be easier with the smaller brush, but it's okay. That's it. That's all we do.
that's it. Um, and we let it dry. That's how simple it is. When it's done, I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to pop back on because um, tomorrow I should be popping on. Because we need to finish this. And um, it's just that simple. We just need to let this dry. We're good to go. Do you know what I mean? That's how easy it is to do ghost stripes. You just let it dry. I don't think I have to put on another coat. I'm just going to do one coat because I want it really subtle. And then again, I'm using matte, a matte poly or matte clear coat to seal with. So then I'm hoping that this is still going to be visible when I put the matte clear coat over. And if it's not, it's not really a big deal. This is subtle anyway, but I just wanted to try it, especially since it's a darker color. I feel like it should show up a little bit better. I'm debating. I was going to do it on this drawer too. I'm not sure. I'm going to see how this turns out, I think, and then go from there. But thanks so much for stopping by. And um, I'll put a video up of the finished piece so you can, I'm looking over here, from start to finish so you can kind of see the whole thing. But um, feel free to subscribe and follow along. I do these live videos whenever possible, at least once a week I aim for on YouTube. I also go live on TikTok once a week. I also go live on Facebook. So you can find me in those places too. And I'm also on Instagram. So... I'm also on Pinterest, even though I really haven't done anything with it. I really need to. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell, all the things. Until next time.